Uh, yep, there's a good one. Son of a... <laughs> yeah, the guys on the uh, Enduros are like, yeah, what bump? I don't feel any bumps. Meanwhile, my balls are retracting into my abdomen. <laughs> so I wonder how much of this route is gravel today. A lot of it is so far. Probably got 30 miles of gravel. Uh, 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 trying to cough my balls back out of my chest. Uh, it's bringing back PTSD from Cannonball Run. All right, so good morning all. It is Saturday morning and the first group is about to head out. Uh, they're doing last minute instructions and rider prep. And uh, hopefully this audio is coming out all right because I didn't bring my external mic. Uh, here is uh, the... Uh, schedule we got class one and five heading out which is uh, zero to 60 cc plus experimental uh, they're heading out at 8 30 which is about uh, or eight o'clock sorry and that's just a few minutes from now class two and four uh, 61 to 125 and the Cushmans coming out at 8 30 and then I'm in class three which is uh, 126 to 305 cc so it's kind of the open class anyway there's going to be a wedding out here today uh, we're going to be out of the way hopefully for that and then uh, we come back and there'll be an afternoon run uh, for a second uh, uh, round of this so anyway we're gonna watch them get underway here i'm not sure which direction everybody is headed out uh if they're gonna leave out of this road that way or that way but i'm gonna try to get out at the entrance and watch everybody departing we got all kinds of toys out here got a life fan 200 kp 200 we got a Ural here. What do we have here? I don't think that one's playing. Maybe it is. What do we have? Motoped. Oh, wow. I haven't seen one of these in person before. That's pretty cool. So somebody on a Motoped is going to be out here. Crazy. Bunch more bikes. Got a lot of little ones. Bunch of absolutely not street legal, but people are running them anyway. <laughs> Check it out. Oh, that's awesome. Yep, they're competing. They're running on uh, Texas highways. Awesome. Uh, go power. Hey, go power sports. Nice. Bridgestone. Check this thing out. That is a neat old bike right there. Had a couple of Sears and Robux bikes. Awesome. Look at this. 6,200 miles on this guy. Wow. That's a neat machine. Bunch of passports. Different years. Uh, there was a pair of blue. I don't know if you guys can see them past my finger. A uh, pair of blue 82 passports over there. And then we've got, uh, not sure which year this one is. Probably 80. Looks a little bit older. This is a 70 Deluxe. No, this is uh, probably mid-70s here. That's a neat old bike. That is one of my favorite bikes. I love the look of it.
Yeah, that's a good idea. Right now. Reset fields. Select all. Reset. Clear. Okay, well, happy Saturday morning all. It is uh, 9 a.m. and we just started rolling for the uh, Texas Tiddlers Endurance Run. It's going to be uh, uh, 89 miles, 90 miles, something like that. You guys probably can't see my uh, route sheet on the screen here. But uh, we're rolling uh, trip meter on the GPS and Kevin's running point for our little group. We're going to have a handful of us uh, kind of caravanning together here. There's big bikes, little bikes, slow bikes, fast bikes. All right, a little Vespa, cool. So this is not a race, it's a, a time distance run. And uh, we can't show up early or you start getting docked points. Yeah, it's just gonna be a three hour loop, you know, we got three hours to complete this. So if we get done early, we just go kill some time before we check in. We're, we're past 6.6, so. Little off. Yep. Yeah, about uh, three tenths off. D Tech, yeah. It's got to be. So there it is on camera. January 14, 1938. At first poll, no, 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 that's chartered, yeah. So first poll is July, 1938. July 38, all right. Okay, looks like it must be ahead. Yep. So the the distances are off by 0.2 it looks like right now. 0.2 almost 0.3. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I need my clear shield, but... Yeah, we're doing good. We've got a long enough train that I think if somebody goes down, there's plenty of mop-up crew, so. I was gonna, uh, yep, there's, son of a, it's getting rough. My dark face shield here, it's hard to see, but I can't go uh, face shield open because I'm eating dust, clogging up my eyeballs. Oh, I had a lot worse on the cannonball, that's for sure. The washboard just tears up that little cup. Yeah, those have got enough suspension. <laughs> yeah, the guys on the uh, Enduros are like, yeah, what bump? I don't feel any bumps. Meanwhile, my balls are retracting into my abdomen. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Ow. Clamp my teeth together. Ouch. I'm glad I took the top box off because it would just be getting beat to shit back there.
Yeah, they're running. <laughs> Is that the feed bell? Let's follow them. <laughs> I can't look at them. So I'm going to run into a freaking hole and kill myself. Ugh. Ooh, that... He just bottomed out huge over that. The ADV 150 in front of me uh, bottomed out in a huge kettle hole, and I heard I heard it go crunch. It sounded like he scraped the tire on the uh, the inner fender. Bottomed out hard because he's riding two up. What is our turn? 12.4. It should be should be right up here. So I'm looking for, uh, we're at 12.6 on trip. 12.4 was supposed to be a county road 1090. I hope we're still on 1090, I don't know. Maybe that, maybe that was that split. Yeah, that must've been the split back there. Okay. It's way off, yeah. These trip counts are not accurate. Uh, 10.90, 12.4. Yeah, so turn left. So that must have been the 1090. It's uh, it's it's point six off. Really, this is 1030. Well, let's look at what the stop sign is up here and figure it out, because the none of the uh, turn counts are correct. They've deviated way far from GPS anyway. What is this? 147. 15 at 147. Now we're only 13 miles in. We're not at, we can't be at 147 yet. But they're saying, it was saying 12-4 County Road 1090. See, there's another group. <laughs> they're, they're circling around. They got lost too, or something's going on. Did they type this wrong? Is it supposed to be 417? Because I don't see a 147. I think there's a, I'm going to go ask them and see if somebody's got Lysdexia. They came from that way. They came from that way this direction. We're all lost. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, the the trip counts were way off and then I think they transposed numbers, but we'll find out. Right. Yep. So we're back on track now. We would have been coming from that other side over there and then turning left on this, but. Well, we stopped on the road for a little bit, so they might have they might have made up their time. Ow! I just got stung. Nah, I'm good. Just got stung on the neck, you little mother. Ow! picked up a yellow jacket and he zapped me right on the neck you little bastard Ugh, I hate yellow jackets why do I always get stung on the f***ing neck ah should have put on my neck sock today they love me man they absolutely love me they love to just nail me okay so we pulled off the road here for a minute uh, to gather our directions and uh, the nice uh, folks here at uh, San Augustine Drug came out and said uh, would you all like some uh, grapefruit highballs uh, it's a custom drink that they make in here and uh, it's a very very tasty refreshing kind of a sweet grapefruit juice anyway it was amazing that we just happened to stop here because uh, my bee sting on my neck was giving me hell and uh, I went got some uh, bee sting uh, pain reliever stuff in there and this is a twofer stop and extras that's right i got five more vials of that stuff for later <clears throat> okay gloves back on ready to roll yep i'm rolling 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 <clears throat> so shamrock station is what we're looking for next 147 and tx21 we need to go east on 21. There's some scoots.
Yeah, see, I don't know. It says uh, Highway 103. This ain't no highway. Yeah, there, according to the GPS, there's a road right there. There ain't no road right there. Yeah, there's no road there. <laughs> oh. Ooh, it's a dust fest. I'm just hanging back far enough that I'm out of the dust cloud. <laughs> These are big potholes. I need to take a leak, but I don't know if I want to go in and waste the time. Oh, checkpoint's on the other side of the road, huh? All right. Oh great, 23! So I wonder how much of this route is gravel today, a lot of it is so far. Probably got 30 miles of gravel. No, oh, yeah. oh yeah, that's rough. Not enough suspension on this bike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what I've been doing, wincing. Ugh trying to cough my balls back out of my chest. Yep. Oh. <laughs> These things have only got like right at three inches of suspension. And we're hitting bumps deeper than that. You've got like almost five inches of suspension, I think, on yours. Oh, oh shit! Wait, ah, 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 don't whip it. Mm. Oh. It's bringing back PTSD from Cannonball Run. Ow. This thing at least doesn't dig in as bad as the uh, Super Cub did. It's got wider tires, so it's not plowing sideways with no warning. Ooh, big holes down. Oh, yeah. The qual quality of this road just went to shit. Guys on the uh, on the enduro bikes are like, yeah, bump? What bump? I didn't feel nothing. Uh, the suspension's doing surprisingly well, though. I'm not losing control of the bike. The Super Cub would bunny hop over some of this stuff so bad that just, directional control is totally secondary. Just keeping it upright is the focus. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Oy. Trying to hang back away from these guys so I can see through the dust cloud. It's, whoa, boy, it's thick. You can look behind me and just, it's cloud just from one bike. Five bikes, not good. And you can't stand on this thing and wheelie it. You loft the front wheel over this stuff. You just have to eat them, and then you get it in the tailbone when the back hits. I don't think I would want to stand up on this thing off-road. 
can be a little dicey. <laughs> Handlebars are too low. Ah. So glad I took the top box off of this. It would be just getting hammered. Yeah, I'm coming up on you. I'm about a quarter mile back. Just trying to stay out of the dust. Oh, yeah. ah, that was a kidney. Oh, I'm going to be pissing blood. Oh, yeah, stand up on that. Oh, shit. Oh. Don't hit those. These tires are doing surprisingly well on this gravel. I didn't air them down or anything. I probably should have, but I don't have a pump with me to air them back up. Uh, I'm following behind bikes, so they got a lot more suspension than I do. <laughs> the trail's got more than I do. The uh, ADVs certainly have more than I do. That's a big hole. Don't want to eat one of these. The big one's going 40 miles an hour. That's going to suck. And back in the dust cloud. Ugh. Ugh, that didn't hurt. Saw it, but it was too damn late. Hey, I can't read the contrast with this visor down at all. Are you serious? Is the mount broken? So what is coming? Is it your laminar lip or what? Oh, shit. Oh, well. Yeah, you'll make it back. All right. Go ahead. Another gravel road. Oh, goody. So much fun. All right. Here we go. Oh, giant chunky shit again. Yeah, and these rocks are huge too, man. I mean, there are three, four inch stones in this stuff. My tires keep skipping sideways. Yeah, this is chunky. And very silty. I'm staying way back from you guys. When you're first up, it's not so bad because you're not uh, eating all the dust. <laughs> back in the back of the pack, not so much fun. So going straight on or left or where'd you guys go? I mean, literally, it's just a cloud, a wall of dust. I can't see shit. That husband and wife duo He's on the uh, the street bike looking thing, and she's on a scooter. Man, I, they don't have safety gear on. I wonder how they're doing with this. Oh, we've caught up to him, huh? Yeah, she can't see. She had to stop. Yeah, she couldn't see because of the dust. They don't have uh, eye protection or helmets or anything. Uh, yeah. That's what I was wondering about their safety gear. Uh, they may have had sunglasses, but that's not going to do much. You need a helmet to keep the stuff from swirling around behind the lens. 
that's why I'm riding with my shield down even though I can't see through the damn thing it's so dusty and it's tinted so I can't read contrast on these bumps until I hit them and it's too damn late okay now I gotta slow down because that's just too much dust that is a wall of cloud of dust here Whew. Oh my god, there's so much dust. It's so thick in some spots I can't even see the trees on the side of the road. I'm brown now. I'm not silver and black anymore. I hope we're not supposed to turn anywhere because they're hauling balls and going straight. What are we looking for? Still on FR-126. Ragtown wreck sign. Bear left on County Road 22700. See, I'm not seeing any of that. I don't know. Let me zoom out. See what I get on my GPS. Because we passed through several of those uh, junctions back there. I hope nobody's low on fuel out here. Because, man, these are some pretty remote roads. Okay, thanks. Let's see if I can cover some ground before he jumps out in front of us, or in front of me. I'm glad I sped up right when I did because he just pulled all the way across the road without looking. What does it say? Yeah, yeah. 22700, yep. Okay. I'm going to need to clean out my air filter after this. Lots of gravel, lots of dust. Ooh, that's slickery. Oh, that's real slickery. Yeah, well, you got to think, there's a huge group behind us, like 20-some-odd riders at least, maybe more. Uh, I don't know how many total enrollees or riders there are here, uh, but when we were there, oh, God, uh, when we were there at that checkpoint, I think they said only 11 had come through and there were 44 or something like that behind us. There are 44 still waiting to come through, I don't know. Oh, maybe that was it. No, that couldn't be because there were more than 11 that came to the checkpoint after us. That little 300-yard section of pavement was nice. Okay. Oh, hit that one. Yeah, there's no point too. So these uh this this route chart is messed up, dude. It's missing so many turns and so many uh distance things are off. There's nothing there in point two, nothing at all. So I don't know what we're looking for at this point. We just need to find uh, 2694 Bowles Field again. So we might as well just put it in the campground. Well, the good news is all the slow roads and gravel and bullshit, the uh, PCX 150 is getting 120.3 to the gallon. It's crazy. What do we have for time here? Let me look. 12.35, we're way late.
Okay then. Go check in. Get my card. Wherever it went. Oh. Ooh, buddy. Dusty. We check in. What do we do? Check in. I got no points on the washer toss. What year was the? What's the question? Oh, uh, July 1938. Wait, did you say number 23? 23, yeah. July 1938. So is it? These are the only people that have come in, or you got to put it over? That's the only. Really. So we beat a whole bunch of people then. I thought we were way behind. Yeah, I did too. Did you make the whole route? Yeah. Yeah, we did the whole route. Lots of gravel. Lots of gravel. Okay, well, good Sunday morning to you all. It is uh, about 6.15, 6.20 something-ish in the morning. I don't know. Getting a later start out of the campground than I had hoped. Uh, I wanted to get out about 5.30, 5.45, but... It just took longer to pack everything down than I expected. Of course, everything is soaking wet from the morning dew, including my jacket. I'm getting forced air conditioning here. Uh, I'm headed back early. Uh, I've got a church engagement that I've got to do for my daughter at 10.30 this morning. And it shows that my uh, arrival at home is 10.28. So if I haul ass, I might just make it. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But uh, Kevin and I are running the same route. Uh, for probably 30 or 40 miles and then I'm gonna split and go uh, south down 59. I'm just gonna hit 59 and truck it as fast as I can. Try to get down there instead of taking the back road uh, twisty route. So we had fun, the ride was good, uh, a lot of gravel uh, and apparently this was the roughest Tiddler's run that they've done as far as the most gravel or uh, you know the roughest surface and all that. So. Uh, we fared pretty well. It was rough, but uh, we got through it without dumping the bikes. There were a couple of people that had mechanical failures, dropped out. Uh, there was another uh, Honda Passport uh, that wrecked and uh, managed to hurt himself a little bit. He, he was okay. I think he just hurt his hand a little bit and uh, ground up the bike. But other than that, it's a fun ride, and uh, we're probably going to come back and do it again in October. So we'll see how that goes. This is the road. I will check in with you later. Check this out, full highway closure, a 18-wheeler. Uh, I can't tell if he tipped over or if he uh, hit the, yeah, it looks like he hit the guard rail here and uh, spilled a whole bunch of load all over the place. It's crazy. Uh, that's a big wreck. Totally shut the highway down. I'm trying to watch where I'm going. Oh, yeah, that thing is mangled. Oh, hey, people. Oh yeah, that's bad news. Caught fire too. Yikes. Oh yeah, that's a full burnout. Yikes. Wow. Okay everybody, welcome back to Katy. I made it back, uh, no problems. Just uh, cooked along on 59 all the way down to the Houston area. Left the PCX pinned wide open <laughs> the entire way. I don't think I backed out of the stop at all, except to slow down for traffic occasionally. And uh, PCX did well. 
I averaged between 68 and 72 miles an hour all the way home. Uh, fuel mileage dropped pretty drastically to 78, which is the lowest I've ever seen out of it. But again, that's the only time I've ever just left it pinned open on the highway nonstop. But I'm back home. I've got uh, like three minutes to change clothes and get back out to church. So I will catch you all later. Thanks for tagging along and I uh, hope to see you on the next one.